This blog is in honor of Arduino Day and Element 14 Day. I will be describing some projects, but rather than starting with dry documentation, I thought I would inject a little fun and start with a mini puzzle to figure out the purpose of a mystery device. Basically, I'm going to describe the device one step at a time, starting with some fairly obtuse clues, and you can see how many clues it takes for you to figure out what the device actually does and what its purpose is. While this is going on, I will be showing some Arduino variants on the screen. They don't necessarily have anything to do with the puzzle, but they're there for interest. So diving into the clues. The first clue is it has an Arduino in it. No big surprise there, and it really doesn't narrow it down at, at all. The second clue is that the device is very useful. I use it about 10 times per day, which makes it the most useful Arduino application I've ever built. The third clue is its name. I call it a cyber chiclet. The next clue is what it looks like. Here it is. This marvel of 3D printing is about 33.3 millimeters long. You can see why I call it a cyber chiclet. The fifth clue is the Arduino type, which is a Pro Micro, and one of the few that would fit in such a case. The sixth clue is what does it do, or what does it cause to happen? Well, it makes absolutely nothing happen, and it is still very useful. The seventh clue is how big is the Arduino program? Well, it's only two lines of code, so you can see why it might make nothing happen. Yet it is the most useful two-line program I ever wrote. Clue number eight is what does it connect to? Well, it connects to any computer with a USB port. Clue number nine is what does it look like to another computer? It looks like a HID, a human interface device. Clue number 10, what does it enumerate as? It enumerates as a mouse. Clue number 11, what kind of sensor or user interface does it have? It has no sensors and no user interface. Clue number 12. What kind of actuators does it have? It has no actuators. It only has a USB port. Clue number 13. What kind of mouse activity does it perform? It does something no real mouse ever does. It sends a mouse move command. But the command is to move zero pixels. That is why I say it does nothing, not even move the mouse. Clue number 14. If it does a zero mouse move with one command, what does the other command do? The other command is just a delay of a couple of minutes before the zero mouse move command gets executed again. Clue number 15. If it causes nothing to happen every couple of minutes, not even any movement of the mouse, how is it so useful? Well, it doesn't cause anything to happen, but it does cause something not to happen. So, if it didn't happen, then nothing happened, and the device caused nothing to happen. The upshot is, your computer does not go to sleep, and it does not log you off from whatever you're logged into. For example, some IT policies force every computer to log you off if you don't do any computer activity for a few minutes. If you're in your office having a discussion with somebody, it's rude to keep glancing at your computer and jiggling the mouse to keep it alive. Or if you're in the lab and you've got an, a schematic showing on the screen while you are operating an oscilloscope and voltmeter, it's a pain to have the computer log you off in the middle of something. But for the cost of a $2 Arduino Pro Micro and two lines of code, you can save yourself all of that aggravation. You could build this thing in less time than it took to watch this video.